our next uh, speaker today from Red Lion Hotel, the CIO, please welcome John Edwards. So let's start for those that are not familiar with Red Lion Hotel. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about Red Lion? Sure. So um, Red Lion Hotels, um, over the last four years of fast-growing hotel organization, we've moved through 100 hotels, usually predominantly in the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. to about 1,500 hotels now um, throughout the U.S. and Canada. Um, so quite a bit of growth there. Mm -hmm. The industry as a whole, as, as all of you are, are travelers to some extent and, and all interact with my industry, um, you know, you, we've all seen the industry kind of move forward with technology and, and what that means and, and what that looks like. Um, our vision is really around um, how do we make technology simpler for the guest, right? How do we make that uh, the, the, the experience for the guest, memorable, um, maybe through uh, just an easier experience. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of focus, um, as I mentioned, in our Hotel RL brand um, with, and within our loyalty platform around, you know, can we give a guest the ability to, to check in, via, make a reservation clearly within our app, but then they see the reservation, they can check in through the mobile app, they can get their digital keys, they can actually skip the front desk if they need to. Um, and we see all kinds of different um, use case scenarios there. If we go, went back to our room, but we were in the Red Line Hotel where you're implementing this vision and we have something to request or something to, the, a service that we want from the people who are working uh, at the hotel, what does that experience yeah, look like? Yeah, so if you're, if you're a loyalty member and you've got the app, right, it's a very, um, very familiar experience to anyone that's using a smartphone. But the mm -hmm. challenge is for a number of guests that maybe aren't loyalty members, mm -hmm. um, or they may not have the app yet, or, or how do they get, you know, it might be a, a, a family, right, where we've only got one device that's on the app, right, and we haven't got the other one yet. So really, how do we take that next step to say, okay, how do we get the rest, how do we include all of our guests in this entire digital experience and this entire digital strategy. And what are you using to do yeah, that? Yeah, so we're, 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 <laughs> we're, um, we're in the process right now of rolling out Apple TV at our Hotel RL Baltimore. Um, mm -hmm. We're really excited. We've got the top two floors in kind of a pilot phase right now um, with a lot of success. Um, we've worked really hard to figure out, um, you know, in the app, in, in a, we all know in a mobile app, right, you've got access to a keyboard and I can move through that app and, and I'm familiar with my device. Uh, but now we've got this Apple TV solution where we've got to make some changes and we've got to adjust what's going on a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, the, the ability to, uh, to, to scroll through and find a keyboard on an Apple TV remote isn't the simplest thing. Um, and so we're working through that. We're working through a lot with um, and getting guest feedback. We're, we're partnered uh, with Monsieurs um, as our integration partner and our app development solution um, and really working with them to say, okay, how do we take what we know is working in the app, how do we get in the Apple TV experience? Um, but then at the same time, we, we started, you know, as we started to go through the project, we said, well, wait a minute. The biggest challenge we have is I've got TV coming in, let's say, input one, and I've got Apple TV in input two. Um, and how do we manage this experience, right? How does, how does this look? What, how, do I, how do I make this seamless for the guests? Because the last thing I want is for an input change not to work on a TV, and I can't get one way or the other. Um, and so over the last nine months, I would say, we've really worked hard to figure out how do we integrate our TV experience into Apple TV? Would you like to see it? Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring up the uh, Apple TV experience at Red Lion Hotel. Uh, and this, again, is the app that you're using is Monsieurs, correct? Yep. And so you'll, this is actually, if you're a guest uh, in the Red Lion Hotel and, and the, uh, where they're rolling out within Baltimore, of course, anybody that uses Apple TV at home, you're familiar with the interface, right? And I'll just, you know, really quickly scroll through these. Uh, John mentioned that they use the Monsieurs app. Now, just so you can remember what that, Monsieurs is actually an app. It stands for My Concierge. And it couldn't uh, come to life more than this area of recommendations. If I click on it, how often do you go down to a concierge? and ask for things to do in town. Do you want to just describe what yeah, you're doing Yeah, absolutely. Here? So we, you know, we use this in our app today with, with, with very good uh, user experience, but the Apple TV just brings this to life even more. Mm -hmm. um, and so the concept that I can figure out what I want to do tonight or what's in the, the area, um, we constantly curate this list, um, ourselves plus Monsieurs, um, and work through you know, what's available when, what are the hours of operation? If something's seasonal, make sure that the guest does, knows that it might close early. You know, right. those types of things that a concierge usually you know would provide, right? And they know all of these things. From the digital aspect, we we all know that's out there. We can Google it and find it. Why can't I just deliver it through a, through a, a much richer experience on the Apple TV? Go into request and the ability. All of the things that you call down yeah. to a front desk. How has this changed? Just 
Because obviously, this doesn't have impact on just the person making the crest. It has an impact on your staff. Oh, absolutely. So how, do, how does that right? all work? So you know, as we've started to roll this out we, within the app and Apple TV both, we've started to, to see, um, one, we get a faster request from the guests, right? So we don't lose those requests any longer where they call down. It might be on a piece of paper yeah. or whatever. Um, we don't lose that anymore. We've digitized that. But, but to start to see the analytics on the back end um, has been significant, where we've seen annual conferences that come or, or citywide conventions that come in annually um, and we know uh, there, there are aspects of the operation that knows that they need to, they need to change when that's coming. Mm -hmm. But now we see the analytics and we can get way ahead of it. Uh, a fantastic example, actually, um, in one of our Spokane locations, um, they, they, needed, um, they had a, an annual conference where they had a big sporting event and the rooms always requested more towels. Um, and so as we started to lay this in, it seemed rather obvious, but in retrospect, the hotel was able to get it way ahead of it and say, we need, we need to stock up on towels. Now, you started, before we brought it up, you talked about the, the, just the notion of watching TV. Of course, the TV is one of the most used uh, devices within the room. And uh, as I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, a lot of times you're, you're within the Apple TV, but you might want to go, you know, leave the Apple TV environment to go channel surf, but you wanted to keep things very, very simple for your guests. So you have this Watch TV app right within here that jumps right into a, a channel. And just to show you all, I played with this a little bit because I had it in. I actually went to my room with it and connected it up to my TV. And I was, I was actually quite enjoying it <laughs> last night. Um, and uh, the ability that you have here, working with Monsieurs to um, you know, let's watch some Sesame Street. Uh, I, that's the danger of showing this uh, dem uh, demonstration. <laughs> we lost I had no everybody. idea what was going to be on TV, right? Um, how did you pull this off? Because I didn't sign on to anything. Right. We didn't pre-sign on to this. This is just streaming these channels right within the Apple TV. Yeah, so one of the this? biggest challenges we had when we started to, to work through this was how do we deliver terrestrial TV over the Ethernet to the Apple TV. Um, it's not a, it's not a out of the box feature, if you will, with Apple today. Mm -hmm. um, and so, by partnering with Monsieurs as well as um, some other integration providers um, on the Directv platform, we're able to deliver Directv satellite to the hotel. We're converting that into Ethernet and actually streaming that um, live to that room channel by channel um, through an app that we developed it together with them. When you were watching the presentation earlier and you saw the setup reset app, did any of that apply to you? Absolutely. <laughs> right? And I see it in iOS and I'm, I would love to talk about how do we get that in tvOS because our guests want to see that reset, right? Again, it's the same experience. They want to know, right, My, I was watching this, I want to make sure it's gone. Um, and we do that for checkout today, um, but giving the guests the ability to manually do that would be massive. It's definitely a work in progress, but it's, it's, uh, the guest feedback's been really positive and they've been really excited. Let me just ask this audience, if you did check into a hotel and this was your interface, uh, would you like it? Yeah, yeah, it would be pretty cool. Thanks. Thank you very much, John. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.